Guys, new from FMS, we have the FCX24 Lemur. Yeah, right here, the Lemur. We're going to show this to you on the table and take it for a drive. Let's go. Okay, to get this started, the Lemur comes in three different colors. We got like an orange one, the red one, and the green one. Yep, I got the red one. And this is it in all of its little 124th glory. Look at that. We got portal axles, got the servo, all that stuff like that. Now, pretty much the driveline is pretty much standard FMS. So the driveline has actually proven itself to be pretty good. It is a two-speed. And I'm going to go and show you guys this as compared to a few other FMS vehicles. All this right here is pretty much the same. Uh, just obviously a different chassis. Kind of uh, more rock buggy-ish. And here are all three of mine. Now, just looking at these, I'm going to tell you right now, the Lemur looks to be the highest performance, especially when it comes to rocks. Now, the Lemur has actually a fairly tall tire to it as well. So tires, kind of huge. Let's go and flip these over and take a look at them. So pretty much, they're all the same underneath. However, there is a little bit of difference, and let me show you. And that difference is in the skid. You can see the older truck right here. See the little indention? There is none here. Now, the front and back on this seems to be a little bit uh, stronger, a little bit beefier than this one right here. So the skids are a little bit different. It comes with a 380 milliamp 2S battery. Here's your charger, a four-way wrench, and some little spring adjusters right here. Pop this off the back, and the battery drops right down into this little piece. Put all your wires in, lock it right up, and the battery is nicely hidden. In fact, uh, other than the wires right here for the servo, it's actually very well compact as far as hiding everything. I don't see it listed in the book or on the box, but I'm pretty sure they've already got the little O-rings and some oil in the shocks. That is nowhere near as bouncy as this one. So that's a nice thing to see right out of the box, right? As far as the transmitter goes, it's pretty much the same transmitter we've had. Quite a bit. Channel 3, this right here is your uh, first and second gear or your high and low gear. And you got a button you can push. I think both of those right there will turn on the lights, which are right there. Let's go ahead and try all this stuff. Yep, simply push these two buttons together. There's your lights. Pretty sweet, huh? As far as driving goes, I did set it up. You can set it up by pushing the button right here twice real fast down here and get your full drag brake. I do not have the instant reverse though. And if you guys know how to convert that, change the ESC, just give me some details, exactly how to do it. Um, there's your crawler gear. <laughs> uh, the steering servo actually seems to be fine. It is on a servo saver. So if you drop this off a 300 foot cliff, the servo should be fine, I would have to assume. Now the tires, they are a large diameter tire, but the tread is very mild. So it does not have a very aggressive tread at all, but um, we're gonna have to see how they work. They should work pretty good, I'm assuming. But now that we got everything powered up, everything is ready to go, checks out, we are ready to give this thing a drive. <laughs> oh, my first crash. Let's get this thing outside. Let's get this started right here. Now this is a new addition. Once we get all this set in place, once I get everything as far as like this whole lineup taken care of, we'll have a nice, nice little area. Hopefully the tires will get enough grip here. There we go. Nice, now the steering feels okay. Seems like the tires are doing everything they can. Nice, all right. We're gonna continue on. I kind of adjusted these boards. I mean, if they're here, you might as well use them, right? Oh, I'm gonna fall off. Well, let's continue the ride. Oh, this is gonna get crazy, they get tighter down here. Oh, I'm hung up in a knot. Here we go. Okay, this is not, this was, oh! They came up on it. All right, so all I gotta do now is not fall off. 
Uh, scale wise, you're talking 17 billion inches down. So I gotta be careful. I bet the steering server will be fine. <laughs> All right, let's keep on doing the ride here. Now the portal axles will give a lot of clearance when it comes to this kind of stuff like this. It really does. Now let's see what we can do with this right over here. Yeah, this right here will all be finished up soon. And when it is, I'm gonna get a tarp and actually, oh, a nice recovery right there. Get a tarp and actually cover this so the pine straw doesn't just get all over everything, you know? So, but that's all one of the things. I guess we'll go ahead and jump on this. Let's just see if they can get this. All righty, let's make the pull up this. Looking good. Oh, I think those mild tires might be an issue here. There we go. I got to get back up on it now. Oh, I got it. Now let's check that belly clearance or if it's just going to fall over. Nope, nope. Oh, it's got the clearance. Doesn't quite have the traction. Oh. Yes. Yeah, Cass, I hear you, buddy. Oh, I think that was the first time I've ever had something actually make it up that. My kitty Cass just came up. Oh, look at that. Now, that brings up a good point. The overhangs front and back are very minimal on this. That's a nice thing to see. All right, let's do it. Man, it's a cold, blustery day here in Florida. Oh, man, is it so cold. I'm in shorts and flip-flops. So, oh, the mild tires are not allowing it to actually get a grip. Got to have a little bit more of a lug to bite these edges on this one. Let's go ahead and try the uh, one of the dump bumps over here. Let's see. Now they do have brass and all for these things too now. And I guess we're gonna need some. A helicopter came in and hooked onto this thing using the sky hook and set it down. I'll try to do the drive down nice and gently here. Nice, easy, look at that. Beautiful. All right. A little walk up. I think I can, I could actually make use of a more aggressive tire out here. Now, looks like we got tons of belly clearance. I love the fact that there's not much up front or in the back to hang up on. Ooh, I'm actually going the wrong direction on this. And I doubt I want to get it past this. Oh, that is a rough one because I'm hitting both axles at the same time. Oh, hitting both axles at the same time. Let's try it in the proper direction here. Let's just see what we got. Man, I like, oh, here comes a 300 inch fall. All right, nice little walk right there. Stay on it. Now this is the proper direction. Look at this, now we're walking it. Yeah. Oh. There we go. I could definitely use some more aggressive tires for sure. All right, do some real rock crawling with this thing. Man, I love this course being up so high. I don't have to hurt my ancient back getting down, laying on the ground. And I know you guys heard this guy before, but there's Castiel over there. And I guarantee you he's gonna be biting me soon because he probably wants some food. Oh, look at that, hung up, hung up. All right. Ooh. All right, come on, baby. Man. Oh. Woo, look at that. Okay, I guess these tires do have some uses, don't they? That's actually pretty nice. Oh, now I'm stuck. Let's make one final pass around the Oasis here. Let's check that turn on this thing. Nice, nice. Ooh. 
Yeah, I get all this done. I'll have it covered. Turning is really good. Um, but yeah, I'll get all this covered up and this way, my only fear with having it covered is going to be mildew. And I am Florida. Things are always wet out here. Oh. And I got it stuck again. Driving these little guys is so different than driving the big ones. There we go. Got to slow down, take it easy. Speaking of that, let's put it in second gear. All right. There is our second gear. That thing really does turn sharp, doesn't it? Look at that. This has a really good turn to it. Ha! Neat. This was not what I expected. Honestly, I've got to be honest with you, I expected a top-heavy, easy-to-fall-over vehicle. It wasn't that. Now, as far as the dump bump goes, when it's sitting like this, well, you've got to have your rig balanced and all that to even have a chance at the dump bumps. But, get some brass on this thing, and you're golden. So, in my opinion, I do feel, at least my own thoughts, that the tires are a little too big. I feel they're a little bit too large for the frame and all that, but here they are. And also, I'd like to have something a little bit more aggressive. Something to actually physically have lugs to get a bite of something. So I'm going to be trying some different tires. That's for sure. But overall, the rig done absolutely great. Uh, steering was had plenty of power. The control was good. Like I mentioned in the first part, comment down below if you know how to change the CSC. I know the, the one time I, I did the uh, little like the old wagon looking one. And some of you guys were like, blah, 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 blah. it's all over the place. Well, I looked again. I couldn't find the instructions. In the paper, in the instructions, it actually shows that you can set the drag brake, but not the forward drag brake reverse or what we would call crawler mode. So that wasn't there. But comment down below. Tell me how to fix that ESC. Guys, hope you have a great day. Use those links. Hit that subscribe, ring that bell. And uh, yeah, be ready for the lemur. It's going to be a good one. Have a great day. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, eBay, and eBay, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.